we're having a very important business Good meeting. Morning. Are you? Good morning. Nice to see you guys again. Yes. So uh, we're going to head out. All right, sweet. I bought this, and I'll, I don't think I'll ever wear it again. I went to a store in a, like a fashion mall, and it was, we, get, we, we vlogged about it. I'm like, I don't belong here. <laughs> Here's the evidence that Scott doesn't live in the Midwest. Yep. Got to have at least two of those brushes in your car. Yes, I'm, I'm having my car. Let's get a video of of, of award-winning filmmakers <laughs> <laughs> brushing <laughs> snow. That's because I'm Scott Stokely. <laughs> oh, shoot. I can't just stand here and watch this. Okay. Let's do my car. No, it's very nice. <laughs> Are we going to do that? I think, it's, I think we're good. Cause it, it'll it'll brush backwards. Yeah, yeah. I just want to get the front. Yeah, that thank snow you. Blows in front of you. No, no, no. You're right. You're right. Celio. Did I pronounce it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incredible. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. I, I was mad. Thing about your documentary. Oh, thank you. So many moving parts. Thank you. Thank you. You don't think about it until. Yeah. Well, that would have been. And, and you think about it, you're like, oh my god. Oh, look at this for the picture. Not looking. Uh, you'll be talking to me, so just right off the side of the camera. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, typical interview format. You know, I'll ask a question, try to work that question into your answer so that we have context. Let's start with um, just uh, your name um, and what film you have here at the festival. Yeah. So I'm Kendra Mueller. I directed Not Just a Shot, a disc golf story. It is a story about a professional disc golfer that had a great career, took some time away from the sport, tried to come back, really struggled really struggled and then he had one shot where he could prove himself and cement his place in history and I'd love to see it to find out. Nice. It's a pretty pretty uh, moving story. Awesome. And is this your first time at Scorpius Fest? This is my first time at Scorpius Festival and I've really done smaller work, smaller video work and so this is my first time really doing a bigger project, a documentary project and so I'm really excited to be at my first film festival and you know get into the real the whole ecosystem of, of film festivals and everything. Nice. So we're on day two right now. You've been through day one. What has your experience been so far? I really didn't have any expectations for what Scorpius Fest would be like, but I'm I've just been blown away. And I talked to Stefan about the atmosphere that Scorpius Fest has, and that it's a smaller festival where it's just the filmmakers. When the film was screening, I expected people to be talking, be distracted, but there was not a single sound made. It was, everyone was incredibly respectful, and I just felt so honored to have my film show in front of that audience. Even though it wasn't huge, it was just such a, such a valuable experience. Yeah, um, tell me about, like, have you uh, met other filmmakers here? What, what has the general crowd kind of been like? And have you uh, socially been meeting people? What is that experience? So the, the general rule is you want to be around people that are better than you, where you want to be in five years. And that's definitely what I feel like talking to people around Scorpius Fest. Everyone has been doing this for years. They're super experienced. The work has been incredible. So I talked to the creator Cilio, which was just absolutely incredible. Talked to Emmett Rower, really interesting guy, super cool perspectives. The conversations here are just, you don't, I don't have conversations like this where, I, where I'm from. Being around people that are like-minded and proficient in what you're interested in is just an incredible experience. And I just, I just don't get that very much from where I'm from. And so it's been incredible. Nice. Um, have you had much time to talk to Stefan and what's been your impression of him? I've talked to Stefan a little bit, maybe for about 10, 15 minutes. And you, know, you can clearly see his passion for this and he, he really wants to make sure that this is an experience that filmmakers can really get something out of. And so it's not just, you know, show up, show your film, you know, talk to people. It's really, he makes an environment that you'll walk away better off than when you showed up. Do you think um, if there's a Scorpius Fest 2025, would you be interested in coming back? I would say so, yes. Yeah, it was, honestly, it, just being able to be around people that speak the same language because talking cameras and filmmaking techniques and directors and everything 
it's it's just such an interesting conversation and company. Nice. I think I'd come back. Uh, awesome. Perfect. Um, cool. And then, uh, do you have anything that you're working on now? Well, you're one of these guys. Uh, yeah. Hey everyone, I'm Scott Stokely. I have played disc golf a long time. Sport had evolved to. And at the end of the tournament, all these amazing athletes get into their tour buses and they leave. So what the documentary is, is it pretty much a scavenger hunt of his YouTube channel and the internet of his journey through the story you just saw. And so I saw the entire story. I just saw bits and pieces here and there on the internet, and then I compiled it all together and made not just a shot. So I, I was there for the whole process, so I was following him throughout the whole journey. How long was the documentary process? I mean, how many years is it taking you? It was about a year and a half of work because I had a full-time job and I had a side job and I had paying video work that I was doing. And so between the cracks of all those, I worked on the documentary. And so it took about a year and a half of just when I can work on it. So it, it was a slow process. It was a little agonizing, but it was good. It was it's something I'm really proud of. It's something I'm really happy with the work that I, that I put into it. Well, and so he had access to like all my YouTube videos and he had been following in archive footage and things. And when he finished it, it was really good. But I started watching it and started making notes, just things he wasn't aware of. I'm like, oh, I, there's a video about that or oh, there's a picture from that. So I just kept sending him more and more stuff and I'd watch it again and I'm like, hey, second, I, I have a picture of that guy in that course. And so to Kendra's credit, at, at no point did he ever say, dude, that's good enough. Like every time I send him things, he wouldn't, he wouldn't use everything I sent him. If I sent him everything, he'd say, this works, this doesn't, but at no point did he put it back. Every time he said, that's going to make it better. Well, it was just context. It was, I, I had seen what I'd seen, but a lot of it had happened before I started yeah. the following the journey, and so a lot of it was just in context I didn't have that he had. Boy, well, the best animated short goes to Cilio. Thank you so much. It's an honor to be here, all the way from Hungary. And I worked on this movie for three years, all alone. And uh, it's amazing to be recognized by so many thousands of people. And I'm so happy to meet all of you and to, to be in the company of such talented filmmakers. So thank you and all the best to your careers. The next award is for the best director of a feature documentary. And the winner of the Scorpius Award, and I'm gonna miss the stage if I get known that, Kendrew Muller. I just gotta thank Scott for letting me tell his story. There's so many other people that could have told it, but I'm honored that he chose me to tell it. I can't name everyone, but all my friends and family that, you know, kept me motivated throughout the entire process. It was a lot of work to make not just a shot. So thank you to all of them. And thank you to all of you for making me feel so honored to show my film in front of you. It's been amazing. So thank you. Thank you. Cool. Nice. Nice. 
This is a uh, truck full of winners. Yeah, of indeed, winners. indeed. It's a back seat full of winners. That's true. Back Let's be honest. But that film, every time I watch you guys film, I love it even more. I was totally okay with watching it twice. I watched it, it, it was fun. I was it was fun. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. And that end, the ending got more and more touching, man. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. Can you teach me how to pronounce your name? Uh, well, in English it's the matter Laurent. But uh, in Hungarian, it's Laurent de Matar. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. I don't know about that. Laurent de Matar, because we use it. We use the names the other way around. So first uh, oh. the family name, the surname, and then the then the first thing. So I'm I'm Laurent de Matar. <laughs> but the yeah. matter. Uh, the matter. Yeah, yeah. The matter. The matter. Yeah, that's, the matter. That, that, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I'm happy with that. So. The matter. Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> I love American accent. I really enjoy all of you talking to me, and I really enjoy myself you know, speaking to you. So that's so that's interesting. Like, it's, yeah, yeah, I love it. Well, I'm glad you didn't have a ride. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, that worked out. And then I saw you sitting there by yourself. I'm like, you kind of had that artsy look. Okay, so it is the day after the film festival's concluded, and I'm so excited to announce that Not Just a Shot and I won Best Director of a Documentary Feature, which is just, it's so wild because when I made Not Just a Shot, I was thinking YouTube video, you know, 10 minute long YouTube video. And then it just ballooned into something so much bigger. And now it ballooned into something that made me an award-winning filmmaker. Scorpius Fest wasn't the biggest film festival in the world, but it was a super intimate environment. And everyone there was just so talented and knowledgeable. And uh, it was a really great introduction to the whole culture of film festivals. And I'm just so excited. I mean, honestly, I made some really cool friends. I met some really cool people. It was just incredible. And it's hard to explain the atmosphere and a room of people that are all like-minded and talented and passionate. And they tell you, I like this. I liked your documentary. So this is just incredible. I'm so honored to have been able to show it and get an award from them. Like it was, it's, it's just incredible.